We've been good friends, Jane. Have we not? Yes, sir. And then we shall sit together in peace tonight. Even if we should be destined never to do so again. It's a long way to Ireland. I'm sorry to send my little friend on such weary travels, but if I cannot do better, how's it to be helped? Are you anything akin to me, Jane, do you think? Because I have a strange feeling with regard to you. Especially when you're near to me as now. And if that boisterous channel and 200 miles of land come broad between us, I'm afraid some cord of communion will be snapped. And then I shall take to bleeding inwardly. As for you, you'd forget me. That I never should, sir. Do you hear the nightingale singing in the wood? Listen. I wish I'd never been born. I wish I'd never seen Thornfield. No, because you're sorry to leave it? I love Thornfield. I love it because in it I've lived a full and delightful life. I've not been trampled upon. I've talked face to face with what I reverence, with what I delight in. I've known you, Mr. Rochester. It strikes me with terror and with anguish to be torn away from you forever. I see the necessity of departure, and it is like looking on the necessity of death. Now, where do you see the necessity? You have placed it before me. Miss Ingram, your bride. My bride? What bride? I have no bride. You will have? Yes, I will. Then I must go. No, Jane. You must stay. I swear it. I tell you, I must go. Do you think because I'm poor, obscure, plain and little, I'm soulless and heartless? I have as much soul as you and full as much heart. And if God had blessed me with some beauty and much wealth, I would have made it as hard for you to leave me now as it is for me to leave you. my spirit which addresses your spirit. Just as though both had passed through the grave and we stood at God's feet equal. As we are. As we are. So. So, Jane. You are a married man. Or as good as married. Married to an inferior to you, whom I do not believe you truly love. I would scorn such a marriage, therefore I am better than you. Let me go. Jane, don't struggle so like a wild, frantic bird. I am no bird. I am a free human being with an independent will, and I shall leave you. It is your will that shall decide your destiny. I offer you my heart, my hand, and a share of all my possessions. I ask you to pass through life at my side. To be my second self and best earthly companion. Come, Jane. Come hither. Your bride stands between us. My bride is here. Because my equal is here. And my likeness. Jane, will you marry me? Do you doubt me, Jane? Entirely. 
You have no faith in me? Not a whit. Am I a liar in your eyes? What love have I for Miss Ingram? None, and that you know. What love has she for me? I shall never marry that mercenary. You, you strange, you, you almost unearthly thing. I love you as my own flesh. I entreat you. Accept me as your husband. Jane, I must have you for my own. Entirely my own. Will you be mine? Accept me. Marry me. Mr. Rochester, let me look at your face. Why are you in earnest? Do you truly love me? Do you sincerely wish me to be your wife? I do. And if an oath is necessary to satisfy, I swear it. Then, sir, I will marry you. Make my happiness. I will make yours. God pardon me and man meddle not with me. I have her and will hold her. Edward, there is no one to meddle. I have no kindred to interfere. No. That's the best of it. Are you happy, Jane? Yes. It will atone. It will atone. My love and constancy will expiate. God will judge me kindly. For man's opinion, I defy it. <laughs>